This video will be about double integrals. This will be uh, a quick introduction. Uh, first, let me go through sort of uh, the strategy in one variable, and then I'll try to go into the problem that motivates double integrals in the first place, namely finding uh, volumes under surfaces. So let's see. In, in one variable, I hope that you recall that um, a definite integral like this, well, if the function is positive, this is supposed to represent some kind of area under the curve. If the function is positive and, and in some places a negative in other places, we think of this as, as signed area, but we don't need to talk about that right now. Instead, let me focus on the method that uh, either that we define such a concept or we can use uh, to approximate the area under the curve. So the standard procedure is this idea of Riemann sums. And the process involves, well, we take this interval A to B, and when we break it up into a bunch of uh, small subintervals. So we'll call A x0 and the first notch here x1, x2, and so on. And say we divide this up into, into n subintervals. So we get this list of, of x values. And the whole point of doing this is that we're finding some way to approximate the area under the curve by uh, picking points in each of these intervals and we evaluate the function there and look at this rectangle that we get. And the idea is that, well, we know how to compute the area of rectangles and so we can use uh, we can write down the area of these rectangles that look like the area is the same as the area under the curve, and that should be some approximation to the thing we want. More precisely, I said, well, we pick points in each of these intervals. So I'll pick a point x1 star in between x0 and x1, and generically I pick a point xi star in the interval that goes from xi minus 1 to xi. So this is so-called sample point. And we evaluate the function there. That gives us the height of one of these rectangles. And we multiply by the width of the rectangle. So this is height of the rectangle and the width. And then we go around and add up all of the areas of these approximating uh, thin rectangles. So we have a sum from 1 to n. And this expression here is a Riemann sum. And the way we define the definite integral usually is we take a limit as how fine this division is goes to zero. So one way of writing that is to write delta x goes to zero. And this is the definition of uh, the definite integral. And notice, it doesn't matter whether or not f is positive or negative in this expression. We're just multiplying sort of by um, the values of f times the width. And this makes sense no matter what. So here's a question uh, or a problem. What is the volume under the graph of this function? on 
one. on this rectangle. Well, first of all, what does this even mean? Let me draw what I mean by this. So we're looking at a function of two variables on a certain rectangle, namely uh, I go out two in the x direction and three in the y direction. I'm looking at this function on a rectangle and the function I'm looking at is this upside down paraboloid. So it sort of starts out at 5 and kind of goes down this way. And it has approximately this, this type of dome shape. And so the thing we're trying to find is the volume between the xy plane on this rectangle and this dome shape above. Well, one way we can do that is similar to one variable. We want to um, approximate the volume with something. And the analogous thing is to approximate with rectangular prisms. So we have this rectangle on the xy plane. And we'll divide it up into some pieces and use some rectangular prisms that that fit nicely that fit nicely under the graph of this function. So for example, one way I could approximate this volume would be to divide up the rectangle I'm talking about. So now let me draw the xy plane a little separately. So here's the rectangle I'm looking at. And now the idea is to find the volumes of these uh, rectangular prisms. I'll have to pick a sample point in each of these and evaluate the function there. That gives you the height of a rectangular prism. And then I'll multiply by the area of a sub-rectangle. And that gives me the volume of one of these. So the idea is I'll have f evaluated at some some point inside a rectangle times the area of that rectangle. And this gives you the volume of one of these approximating uh, rectangular prisms. So right now we, we can't answer the question of what is the volume under that graph but we can approximate it. We can approximate it by using something similar to a Riemann sum. So what I'm going to do is maybe do the simplest thing possible. I'm dividing this rectangle uh, into two pieces this way and three pieces this way. And I'll evaluate the function at corners of these rectangles and multiply by areas. So one approximation, which won't be very good, but this is just to illustrate the idea, would be to evaluate f of 0, 0 times the area of this rectangle. It's just 1 by 1, so that's pretty simple. I'll evaluate at this point, which is 1, 0 times the area of the rectangle. So the function I wrote down was x squared over 2 minus y squared over 4. So if you plug all these values into the function and add them up, you get 26. So this is some idea of an approximation to um, the area, I'm sorry, the volume under the surface.